Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to ice and stack a three-tier chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream, strawberry filling, and then after I get it all stacked and smoothed out, I am going to go back and do a chocolate ganache drip on all three of those tiers. So here you just see me laying down my bottom tier and then doing a simple syrup and now I'm doing a chocolate buttercream dam all the way around and then I'll have to put that strawberry filling in and stack the top layer. I do also want to point out that you'll see me um, going back and trying to fix where that cake was crumbling on the side. So yes, every cake is not going to bake perfectly. This one, for some reason, must have stuck to the pan when it was released from the pan when it cooled. And so I'll have a lot of chocolate crumbs and little chunks wanting to fall off the side of that cake. So you're going to see me struggle a little bit icing this bottom tier. Um, chocolate buttercream, or at least mine, is a little stiffer than a vanilla buttercream anyway. And so it is a little harder to get on there. My arms are always a little bit sore when I get done with a cake this large in chocolate buttercream. But you'll see me when I get back around to that side kind of struggle with the crumbs and actually using, like right here, I'm using my hands to almost push it back on there. If this happens, if you have a cake that's especially crumbly or just not holding together like you want it to, the easiest way, it's easy is probably an exaggeration, but the best way to handle it is instead of continually trying to attach the icing to the side of the cake because it will just continue to fall off, the best way is to touch your spatula that has the icing on it onto another part of the cake with icing. It will stick, icing will stick to icing and then you kind of drag it over that area that you're having issues with and it will eventually stick but trying to stick it directly to that cake will only make it crumble worse. So I got it on there as best I could and now I'm going back with my scraper and just trying to smooth out all of those uneven spaces and rough spots and when I did go back to scrape the side that I was having issues with I was very gentle about it and did not pull back too much on that cake. Now I will say also it did help me a little bit on this cake there was going to be a chocolate drip on all the sides so I knew that any imperfections would most likely be covered up. So that does help. If it was a cake that was going to be completely exposed and you were going to see it, you'd probably want to spend a little bit more time. But luckily I knew that I was going to be able to cover up some of those bad spots with the chocolate ganache. And as you can see, I'm really taking advantage of the magic in the Viva paper towels for this cake. It just did such a good job of smoothing out that chocolate buttercream. And you didn't see me measure my dowels, but I did measure them. I put one to the center of the cake to kind of measure it, and then I cut them all the same size before I inserted them into the cake. So I did skip that part of the video a little bit on this particular video. And now you see me putting that strawberry filling in. This is the second tier. The bottom tier was a 14 inch square. This center tier here is a 10 inch square and the top tier will be a six inch square. So I'm just doing the exact same thing. They wanted the same flavor, same filling on every layer of this cake. Because I also, after I put the chocolate ganache on, I dipped several chocolate dipped strawberries, um, probably around 100 I think it was, to add to this cake and to also just to have them be able to put them on the different slices of cake when the caterers chose to go and cut this for the, it was actually for a wedding rehearsal dinner. Um, so it was actually, that's why it was such a large cake. But again, you see me kind of um, putting a ton of chocolate icing on this layer because I mentioned before, the chocolate buttercream is a little stiffer and I don't want it to pull too much on the crumbs of the cake. So I put quite a bit on and then I use my scrapers to kind of go back and pull all that excess off to leave me with a nice smooth finish.
Again, you see me putting a ton of icing on this top tier. Because this top tier was so small, I was really afraid that the icing was going to just destroy it because of how stiff it was. But So I did put a ton on there, and then I'm going back and scraping this once again to really pull that excess away. And then I'm going to go back and stack all of those different tiers. I don't always travel with a full three-tier cake. On this particular one, because I was doing the chocolate ganache drip, I did go ahead and stack it. The 6, 10, and 14 inch um, tiered cakes, whether it's square or round, are really a very sturdy three tier cake that serves around 100 people. And so I felt fairly confident in stacking this to travel with. The chocolate ganache, I didn't want to have to worry about it getting messed up when I would go to stack it at the venue. So I did stack this before I left. And it really, it traveled really, really well. And then I put the chocolate dipped strawberries on after I arrived at the venue. Now I'm going back after I've got everything stacked, I'm going back and doing a chocolate buttercream bead border. It's a little bit lighter in color and usually that's really just because it hasn't been mixed and stirred as much as what I put on the cake is. It will eventually darken a little bit more to the same color as the background of the cake. But I'm just doing a really simple bead. I think I was using a number 10 tip um, to create this bead border and then I'll go back and do that ganache strip. And for my ganache, it's a really simple recipe. I don't do anything extravagant. I use chocolate chips and I just melt it down with a little bit of evaporated milk. And then sometimes I put a little bit of vanilla. Sometimes I can add a little different flavor depending on what the customer wants. This one, I just did some vanilla extract along with the chocolate and the evaporated milk. And then I just got it to the consistency I wanted, kind of like the consistency of honey, maybe a little thinner, and put it in a piping bag and just dripped it all on the cake and it's set up beautifully and it tastes really good and it pairs so well against the chocolate buttercream because it's such a richer darker color I really like the way that it turned out and then here it is with all of those chocolate dipped strawberries on top and then added monogram thanks for watching please subscribe